Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Today, I want to ask you a question. How do you respond to the call of God when he tells you it's time to take your place in the story of, of God and humanity? What's, what's your response? So our one line for the day comes from uh, 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 10. And Samuel says to God, Speak, for your servant is listening. So let's talk about Samuel for just a brief moment here. Very interesting uh, childhood. He was uh, born from Hannah. She was barren. She made a covenant with the Lord if she was to bear a child, she would dedicate her child to the service of the Lord. And so when the child was weaned, or she had Samuel and he was weaned, she dedicated him to Eli, the current uh, prophet and, and judge of Israel. Now, Samuel goes on to do great things for the Lord. Uh, he anointed uh, Saul, he anointed David as king, he routed the Philistines time and time again. He was the judge of all Israel, he was known as a fair and honest man. But this is the beginning of it all. This is how it all started. Okay? So, in the story, Samuel was just a boy, and at, at night, he kept hearing a voice. And he kept waking Samuel up, and he didn't know what it was. So finally, Eli, his mentor, his keeper, the the, uh, the, the judge of Israel at the time said, Samuel, when you hear the voice again, just say, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. And that is exactly what Samuel did. And he entered his place in the story of God. And he goes on to do great things for the Lord. So I ask you right now, do you feel like you're answering the call to God? Do you feel like you're living up to what he has for you? Well, let me go over a few things that if you, if you need help in this area. Number one, God knew that Samuel was just a boy for his initial call. He knew he wasn't ready to fight the Philistines, to anoint kings, to judge Israel. So his first mission, if you will, for Samuel was very small. It was a small prophecy about Eli and his family. All he needed to do was say, speak, Lord, I'm ready to hear your voice. That's it. So in saying this, God knows your strengths already. He knows your weaknesses. He knows your limits. He knows what you're, you're, where you're inconsistent. He knows your talents. He's not going to call you to something that he knows you're not prepared for. So in answering the call, take a little faith, take a little hope to know that, yes, God is going to take you somewhere extra special that you can't go on your own, but he's also not going to do it overnight. It's going to be a gradual incline. And the next thing is, do you do a lot of talking to God and not a lot of listening? Samuel says, I'm listening, Lord. Schedule a time to listen to God, not talk. I believe prayer is just about 90% listening and 10% talking. Schedule a time with the Lord today or this week and ask Him to just speak to you and just tell Him your sermon is here to listen. You're submitting to Him. You want to hear what He's got to say and you want to respond appropriately. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's message and uh, thank everyone who's been offering me support during this ministry. I appreciate it. Uh, continue to like my links and repost them as your, at your discretion and let's... Um, Let's uh, retake our internet. Let's retake our communities in the name of Jesus. You have yourself a wonderful day. Oh.